I'd like to share with you a legend, a story of a little fish lives no place else in the world other than the sandy beaches of Southern California and Northern Baja California. Only from Point Conception in Southern California to Punta Abriojos about the middle of Baja California. No place else in the world other than sandy beaches along this shoreline. The life cycle of the grunion is quite a fish story. Loresthes tenuous is the scientific name. It means smooth covering and slender. So a slender, smooth coat is what the scientific name means. And on the beach at night, that's very appropriate. A little bit of moonlight and some lights from the nearby city, they shimmered. For half the year, this little fish, about six inches long, plus or minus, hangs out in loose schools just beyond the surf till the moon and the tides mesh with instinct and hormones. And then there's a dramatic dance on the beaches of Southern California and Northern Baja California with uncanny punctuality between March and September on evenings of the highest tides following the new and full moons, the grunion spawn on land. They come up on the beach. Uh, there's still water left, but they're right there in the sand, vulnerable. Around midnight, when the tides are receding, the female will surf in on a high wave and strand herself on the beach. She'll wiggle her body into the sloppy sand and bury yourself tail first into the soup. Squeeze out about 2,000 eggs into a little quarter size glob. The males calling around her spew milt into the muck to fertilize them all. 99.9% .9 of the eggs are fertilized in that chaotic mess on the beach. The whole process, less than a minute, and they're back vanishing into the darkness on the next wave. Somehow it works. We were on the beach last night and collected some fish as the grunion ran. Collected a few. I've got sand and fish to share. Sushi, right here. You'll notice they're different sizes. This is a female. This is a big girl. She's, how big is she? Maybe, wow, she's almost eight inches long. And her male friend, who was on the beach with her, he's maybe five plus inches. So the males are, in general, about six inches or less. And the females, in general, are more than six inches. The females have a more important task than the males. They've got to work really hard, poke their little tail into the slushy sand, and deposit 1,000 to 3,000 eggs to be fertilized by the males that produce milt. Um, put these aside. We're just going to check a couple of them. Here's a little male, one year old, maybe two. Right here is the vent. From that area, he produces milt, M-I-L-T, and this milt will be deposited around the female as she's depositing eggs from the male. Most of the milt he's already left on the beach. I caught him after he had deposited most. He'll come back in about six weeks, or he would have had I not caught him, uh, with more milt to share there on the sandy shore. His mission in life is to fertilize the eggs and perpetuate his species. There are eggs all over the place. These are eggs. We caught them at the time we were catching the fish. She would have squeezed them out from here. Maybe she's got a few. See, they're gone. She's already produced her eggs. Well, you got some coming out there. well, those aren't eggs. That's just goo. 
So you can see she's empty here. She's produced her 1,000 to 3,000 eggs, and she's empty now. She's done her job. Good for her. Let's see if her sister over here can share with us. Aha, here we go. A little girl here. She didn't get a chance before I caught her. You can see she's produced. She's probably going to produce maybe a thousand eggs rather than the typical 2,000 or so. She'll squeeze these eggs out in a matter of seconds. Might take her five seconds, might take her 10 seconds. But she'll squeeze them out into that glob and get on the next wave and head out beyond the breakers. This little fish has an interesting mouth. It has no teeth, but it's got a little telescopic ability. So it can swim along through the surf and scarf up little critters small enough to be scooped up by that telescopic mouth. No teeth, but they think they're a whale out there going after plankton. Interesting mouth on the grunion. The eggs will incubate in the moist sand for 10 days or less, protected from the hot sun by inches of dry sand insulation. The eggs mature in less than two weeks. They're ready to hatch into the sand. No, you have to wait for the tide to come in again. So the tidal rhythms reach that glob in about 10 days, and the baby fish will emerge in the agitation of the seawater that stimulates them to emerge from their little egg case. Within a year, they're ready to spawn. So they grow up to be a big six-inch fish in maybe 14 months, and they'll spawn probably for the next two years. About every six weeks, they'll come in and produce eggs or sperm depending on their sex. They live maybe three years in the surf of the beaches of Southern California and Northern Baja.